Alrighty, so before I start this video, I wanted to uh, answer a couple questions people had about what a false floor is. So a false floor is a platform that is used, uh, pretty much it's a subfloor, so it goes above the floor itself. Um, this floor being the trunk of the Tesla, I mean the front trunk of the Tesla. So uh, I created this board basically to attach all the accessories to, so the compressor, uh, the air tank, uh, anything that needs to go in the front trunk is going to be attached to this rather than being attached to the actual uh, tub of the car. So that's what that's used for. Um, it's just a pretty piece. You know, I don't want to cut up the tub too badly. So I'll be attaching everything to this. Alrighty. Alrighty Bye -bye. guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whatever. Welcome to day two the Tesla project. I am on my way to Harbor Freight to go pick up some tools because I don't have the tools to finish this false floor and then after that i'm going to be going to either joanne fabrics or walmart or somewhere that sells fabrics for carpeting and you know i'm wrapping the false floor with something to make it look pretty i don't know whether to do vinyl like the black vinyl or to do fuzzy carpet because fuzzy carpet's pretty nice but fire hazard so i'm not sure but we're going to go to Harper Freight first, pick up the tools, and go from there. Bye. Sleep well. So I completely forgot that I need to measure this before we head out. So we're at 16 inches. I think we'll add four. So we'll do 20 inches of space, you know, for material, two inches to overlap. And then we'll do another four here. So we're looking at 32. So 32 by 20 for material. Alrighty, so we just uh, finished up there in Harbor Freight. I just Googled where to buy fabric and there's a Hobby Lobby next to me. So uh, I'm gonna head over there real quick. And if that doesn't work out, they don't have something I'm looking for, then I'm gonna end up going to uh, Walmart. Well, it was the first time for everything. I won't lie, this place is very overwhelming i don't know where to go i think this is how women feel going to auto zone even though it's not even as big as this oh. okay i gotta ask for help already i uh found where i need to be but not what i want so okay i found what i'm looking for but i don't want alligator I got this guy, it's like a matte black. I like this. Marine vinyl black. Blue? Yeah, this looks kind of fire. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Decisions. Not gonna lie, Joanne's pretty cool. They have, I was thinking of maybe like a material like this, kind of like a blanket. They feel good. Or this one, it's got like these little nubs. And then I really, really liked this one. So, all right, headed to the side. Okay, so won't lie, Hobby Lobby's pretty cool. Uh, they're having a 40% off the fabric, so eight bucks. And I went with the embossed. So, yeah, let's go pay. I will say this. If you have never been to Hobby Lobby and, you know, you're part of the creative crew, for sure, that's a spot to go. Alrighty, so we just finished getting everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece of wood. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece of wood and work on it. Don't know where, I, mean, I gotta find a spot. Uh, this is gonna be my work area, so let me go ahead and just put everything here. <sighs> Alrighty, that is everything. So I have the compressors, the wood, uh, drill. Welcome to my table here. So I went ahead and opened up the drill bits here. We're using an 1132. Uh, that's what matches this bolt size. So that's what I'm gonna use to drill the four holes that are in blue there. Um, I still plan to sink, or sorry, I still plan to countersink it um, from underneath. That way the tank holds onto this part. The compressors I have right here, you know, honestly, I, I can't wait to show you how this looks like because it's powder, powder coated. It looks great. But I have the compressors here to uh, mount to this guy. Nice, that's what we need, perfect. So, biggest one in the kit, which is a inch. So, this is the guy. Fits perfectly inside of there. So, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do to the bottom of this here. I'm gonna countersink these from underneath. Okay, so these holes are done, and they're looking pretty good. Uh, these are a little bit deeper than these, but you know, hey, not too bad. The bolts uh, fit through it perfectly. They're a little bit under flush, but that's okay. More than enough, you know, to get the nut on on the other side. So that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take out the tank and mount it so I can show you guys what that looks like. So yeah, we're, uh, we're getting, we're making some progress. Alrighty, this thing, I love it. Look at that. That matte black is beautiful and with the embossed uh, bottom here, it, I think it's gonna look absolutely killer. Um, the holes matched up perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see that right there beautiful on both sides so yeah uh, i'm gonna go ahead and mark up the compressors next but yeah this is coming out great uh, i'm so excited this matte black is gorgeous Alrighty, so i got the compressor on this cloth so we don't scratch the mat finish on it um but we're gonna be moving this base so the floor that it uses here or the leg whatever you want to call it uh, I'm going to move it to the side here, that way this compressor sits like this on the base here. So gives us a little bit more space up and down wise. Um, I don't know if I can do that and use these, the shock tower mounts, but uh, I'm going to figure it out. So yep, bear with me while I do that. So I wanted to show everybody where I'm at right now. Uh, I have the old mounts out, the new mounts in, and I have everything mocked up kind of how I want it to sit. Because um, if you look here, if this is flat where the wall is, there's enough space, there's no clearance issues. Um, I am going to have to remark the rears and the front because when I marked them, I used this guy here. And uh, this is going to work out. So I'm going to switch to those. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other compressor and mark it up everything and set it so I can see what they look like. Uh, I like this configuration here where the tank will sit up there and this air cable will just run up to the side of it perfectly. So yeah, we're looking good. Uh, let me go ahead and get this done because it's, it's, a, it's so, this is taking so long to do because all I have is this guy and this guy. I didn't think about buying something that was long enough to hit it with impact. So yep, 
Let me get this done. Both of the feet have been swapped out. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find center here, mark it, and then I'm also going to find, well, I guess I'm going to find center right here on the board, and you know that way I can have them actually correct, you know, spaced out properly. So that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty, so the other camera's dead right now, but we're going to use the phone. So I ended up marking the hole here um, on both sides. I mismeasured uh, when I first did this, so I'm glad I redid it. It's almost two and a half inches away, a little bit under two and a half. Same thing on this side. It's a little under two and a half. We're using that bottom one. Same thing, it's a little under two and a half from the top. Same thing here, a little under two and a half from the top. We'll drill those out to the diameter of these bolts here. So I think it's M. M8 screw. Pretty sure it's M8 or M6. I don't know. I think it's M8. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this. So I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip because I'm learning obviously while I'm doing this. So I went ahead and just drilled a pilot hole. And instead of like before on this guy, how I went ahead and just made the hole bigger, um, that kind of messed me up because when I went to go use this bit here, it has this little spade or this point in the beginning and that helps it guide it on the hole, right? So to use this properly or to do this properly where you gotta make a countersink, what you wanna do is make a small pilot hole first and then hit it with this bit here, okay? So just, you know, pre-game here instead of messing up like I did. See, that way the tip guides it in. And then you just start chipping away. A little update on the hole situation here. But um, if you can see, I countersunk it, uh, and then there's another mini countersink in there because this little portion here has a drop down. So now it fits perfect with enough space for the head of the screw. So time to do that one more time on this side. Uh, I'm gonna mount it, figure out how I want it positioned, and then uh, mark those other holes. finished product guys I've got everything uh, drilled out though not perfect I was trying to did rush a little bit due to the Sun but yeah either way got all the holes uh, on there ready to go uh, everything's done in the front and now everything's done on the back too so uh, these are the holes for the compressor here and they're double countersinked so first one here and then that little one inside there also so pretty cool so i'm very very tired it's been a long day and uh i'm gonna call it here so. except i'm not so I'm, I'm sure you guys are appreciating these uh cuts but yeah uh we we, we still got more work to do so i was gonna go ahead and do this part of wrapping this uh false floor with uh, this vinyl separately, but honestly, um, for me to make another video that's like five minutes long, just doing this isn't really worth it. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just get this started and over with. Alrighty, I wanted to explain where I'm at right now. So I put the piece of vinyl that I'm gonna be using to cover the false floor. I'm using this stapler gun from Harbor Freight. It was 10 bucks and then the staple kit brings it brings staples already, but I wanted ones wanted ones that were a little bit shorter in depth. So these are the one fourth ones. So I'm gonna use those. Uh, and then on this curved part, which is really the only thing that's gonna give me any issues, uh, there are some relief cuts. Uh, shout out to my mom for telling me what to do here. So now with these relief cuts, it gets the uh, curve a little bit better. And then on the corners here, just tell me that I have to scrunch it up pretty much to get that 
uh, that bend. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that too. And yeah, so I'm gonna start with this part here. So I'm gonna staple this first and then uh, work my way around somehow. So yeah, wish me luck. Alrighty, so uh, just finished stapling everything as uh, well as I think I need to. Um, but before cutting anything, this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's pretty fire. Look at the edges on it, man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, it came out great. Absolutely great. So all I have to do next is um, cut all this excess. Uh, the only spot I think I messed up was, let me see, maybe this guy right here. Stippled it a little too close, so. Otherwise it doesn't really matter. This is just gonna have a washer here, so. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, I swear. This is the last time, but enjoy this montage of this uh, beautiful trunk setup. As far as the false floor, um, I do have to poke holes in the vinyl to make sure that the bolts go through. But besides that, this this literally came out. My expectations are high on this build as far as the way I want it to look. So it's coming out. It's coming out better than I thought. So that's always nice. All right, what? Well, um, that should be it though. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, whatever you guys want to do. But I'll see you guys later, and uh, you know, drive safe. Have a good day, guys. See you.